Welcome back to the St. John Speed Shop. Today's review we have the Revell 25th scale, uh, 1957 Ford Fairlane, the Fireball Roberts version. Uh, I saw this kit reviewed and I had to have it. This is just too cool. It's one of my all time favorite body styles. Uh, I'm sure it's the same for a lot of you guys. This was an Excellent build, top notch, no problems, extensive decals, all laid down fine. And no complaints about this car, this kit whatsoever. This was a blast. I know they got uh, several more versions that are Revell 57 Ford out there. I've yet to get my hands on, but I need to rectify that situation. This was a sweet build. Again, man, can't say enough about it. Highly recommend this kit if you haven't built one already. With that, let's get it rotating. Uh, I painted the wheels the same as the body, the red shade, obviously. And then I uh, shaded them with the uh, Tamiya Black Wash, because there's a lot of detail in there that really pops once you shade it. Then I used a Molotow pen, uh, the, the chrome pen for the uh, lug nuts, then clear coated them, and those, those came out pretty nice, man. All the detail in there pops if you just a little bit of shading. You know, like I said, these are some large decals on here, a very extensive set, but man, they all laid down fine, no problems at all. Really enjoyed this kit, man. I just got to get the rest of them. I think there was an alternate paint scheme for this car. I can't remember if it was... Uh, I, what I want with the red and white, I think I just, just just looked really nice. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Let's see if we can get some of the interior on film. Yeah, it's got your typical uh, race interior. No back seat with a cage. Let me spin it around. It's about as good as it's going to get. Get under the hood. This is convenient. Very nicely detailed engine. There was one part in there I couldn't get installed. It was a bracket that went from fender to fender. And it seemed to be a bit short. Either that to, I mean, oh, that's, that's like the only issue, if you want to call it, that they have with this kit. But no big deal. But you got some decals and the valve covers. I mean, this really came out nice. I mean, this is an awesome kit. I would highly recommend this one. Very satisfying build. I got to throw this one in a case. I'm that happy with it. What do I do underneath? I went with the stainless look under here, too. That's, pretty, that's a cool look. I like that. I don't know how realistic it is, but I like it. Everything was painted and... Shaded with the uh, Tamiya black wash, all that detail pops. Plenty of detail in there, take advantage of it. But this was a fantastic kit. If you've got this one in the stash, thank your lucky stars. And if you ain't got it in your stash, go get one because you, you would not regret adding this one to the collection. Fantastic build. Uh, with that, I'm done with this review. I'll have another one up shortly. Um, you guys have a good one, and I am out of here.